Bailey, welcome to Film 24. Thanks, Stephen. Uh, let's start by saying a uh, big congratulations to the movie. Seeing the deal tonight and I uh, absolutely loved it. Just Great. Blew awesome. me away. Uh, really? Just oh, brought me back to my childhood. Great. It was an emotional roller coaster, heartwarming. So Fantastic. Tell the audience, our audience, a bit about it. Um, it's the story of a, uh, a character called Joe Scott who we meet as an adult. Uh, he's, a ha he's a Hollywood actor whose life is spinning out of control. Um, he's taking too many drugs and drinking too much, and he's in, you can see he's not that happy. Um, he gets a phone call from his mother to say that his best childhood friend has died, and that takes us into flashback, where we see him as a teenager, and basically it's a coming-of-age story. Um, and then the, for the final part of the film, we see the adult Joe come back home to face his demons. Now, you, you and Daniel have been friends for a long time, so yeah. you know what to say about working with friends. How, how, how did it, it go? It was great. <laughs> I have to say, my experience of working with friends was great. And it, it was, uh, you know, it was everything I hoped it would be and more. And, uh, it, you know, it was a really great journey. And I always, I love that thing of pushing friendships into... You know, it was a creative journey. It's, it can't really get better. It's kind of, you know... And, of course, there's... You're going to agree and disagree. But, mm -hmm. essentially, you know, there wasn't that much disagreement. We can, you know... I wrote it with Daniel in mind. Daniel's known the script for a very long time. So, through the process of, over the years, I think any kind of difficulties there were were always kind of dealt with then. So, the, you know, when we came to film, it was very easy and very enjoyable and great to watch him create a character. Mm -hmm. You know, that thing of working with actors where they... You know, that was the best part for me, was watching those actors. Yeah, actually, it's an amazing cast that you have. It's a great cast, and, um, isn't it? I know, I got really lucky. But young Joe, I mean... Amazing, isn't he? Unbelievable. I mean, yeah. how familiar, how Do you know what? similar... I think, a, no, I know, he, he blew me away. I mean, he, it, just that, he's, it's, it's, it's magic what they do. It's like this, it's a, it's a trick. And it's just, every time I was open-mouthed. I mean, and Harry particularly was, I mean, they were all brilliant. Harry had a very large part to play, you know, he was a big, big part in the film. Um, and he's, he's kind of questioning of me and he's kind of, you know, he's extraordinary. I loved him. And, and what, you know, great young Daniel Craig. I mean, Absolutely. I mean, yeah. he, he's spitting the midget, yeah. really, isn't he? Yeah, just, it's, it's extraordinary. Got, yeah. it's, the music's fantastic. I mean, what was that? Did you choose? Yeah, I mean, I wrote because they, they were really important tracks in my life, so I wrote the script around those, those tracks. You know, they were key to the... When I was writing it, they were key. They were, they were always there. So the Roxy Music and David Bowie, you know, they who I grew up with, and they are important in my life and were important in my life, and they kind of formed, you know, they informed my life. And so, yeah, and that Roxy Music track was on the first album when I got that, when I first... When I was a kid, when I got that, and that album cover and the whole, the whole deal of it... It did bring me back so much to my childhood. I mean, yeah, which is great. And yeah, I, I, I think it's got a real beauty of doing that. Well, and, that's uh, you know, I'm really pleased to hear that because I think that's not you know that's what I want it to do. If I had been at home, say if I was watching at home, I, I would have cried. But being in a, in a cinema pack, <laughs> I didn't people, squeeze a I tear just, out. I, history, I, I tried not. Well, no, I, I I did well up a couple of times, so I tried not to. Oh, well. Um, so what's next? I mean, are you going to be working with Daniel again? <laughs> oh, it'd be great. I'd love to. I'm, I've no idea what's next. We'll see. Uh, you know. But, Let's see what happens with this film. I haven't got a project at the moment, and uh, I'd love to make another film. But, you know, I've been working for the last year on this one, and I haven't thought about the next one, really. Well, I'm sure it's going to be a big success. Um, really? It's one of the best films I've seen in a long, long time, and I really mean that. That's very that. nice of you to really, say. I'm really happy for you to I went home that. thinking a lot. And well, great, man. I'm really, so, really happy. A massive congratulations, and I, I wish you all the best. Thank you very um, much indeed. Thanks very much for taking the time. Steve, Steve welcome to Film 24. How are you both doing? Good, thank you. Okay, you? Thanks. Very well, thank you. I just want to say big congratulations on uh, Flashbacks of Phil. Love both your performances, but it's not the first time that you've worked together, is it? Is no, right? we've done something before, but we didn't. wasn't in the same scene or anything, yeah. so... So we how was it? it? All right, so I was going to ask, well, you had such amazing chemistry on, on this set of this movie, so I just assumed that it was kind of something it's to do with the work. No, we, we clicked real straight away, Yeah, didn't we? yeah, and we had uh, kind of a lot of dancing rehearsals to go through together. So I thought it brought, it brought us together, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. I, lo I love the scene that you're in. You, your blue eyeshadow. You, you're dancing, <laughs> singing along, lip syncing. <laughs> yeah, that's and really also fun. now there's quite a bit of a raunchy couple of scenes. You've got a few raunchy scenes, don't you? And this, uh, how was uh, that yeah. doing that? Were your mates slagging you off? Your friends? Well, what did your family think? Uh, well, I watched the film and my mum and dad next to me. It was a bit laugh, <laughs> but it was okay. But um, yeah, I was a bit nervous for the the sex scenes and that. I was. It was my first day shooting. It was actually the sex scene. So I was like, are oh, you joking? I didn't know anyone, I had no clothes on. 
I was a bit embarrassed, but <laughs> it worked out. It really, worked out. It? To be okay. <laughs> you just got to do it, don't you? Yeah, really? yeah. And if you always wanted to act, I mean, you know, what would your ideal role be? What would you like love to do? Um, I love like I love to do an action role and something like well, James Bond. <laughs> yeah, really. I think you're very like him, don't you? I mean, everybody's saying I know, that you look said so. That. Yeah, and, um, they do. They've got very similar clothes, the makeup. Did you like any of it? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, didn't, I didn't like the makeup too much. But <laughs> the jacket, and all the that, hair. that jacket that you had on, and that, when you had all the love bites on you, that kind of. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and those little shorts. I the negative. Oh, the yeah. shorts, they're the worst. Was it embarrassing <laughs> to kind of put nails on? Where, where you're kind of like, what am I wearing? Are, <laughs> the shorts are about six inches long, and everyone, I was, everyone looking at me. I, was like, <laughs> I thought you, your costumes really suited you. I thought. It, yeah, you I, quite, amazing. I quite enjoy that wearing that. Yeah, yeah, no, it's I mean, it was kind of. I mean, the music, the song that you wrote kind of saying is that something that you'd kind of music you'd listen to yourself or? yeah absolutely i really got into it not really from, me from i didn't really know anything film. about the 70s music but i got bailey gave us a couple of cds didn't he yeah and um, learned this for weeks he said learn yeah, these yeah. learn these every Just day like in the kitchen listening to it over and over again because it's such a strong scene that that scene with you too i mean with lip sync, I mean, did you have to put a lot of work into that? Did you have to listen yeah, to it? Yeah, that kind is of the work? hardest thing ever because you have to. We had because he was slowing it down. We had to do it double time and Just trying time. to lip sync. I know, I'm doing it really fast. I didn't have to I'm do any to lip sync. You know, I've done a bit of dancing, but you've done much more than me in that. You have to do much more rehearsal. I'm just having a couple of Hello, welcome to Film 24. Nice to meet you. We're here to talk about Flashbacks of a Fool, which um, I got the CD the night and I absolutely loved it. Great. It was an amazing movie. You play Joe. Um, can you ex tell me a bit about his character? Um, character well, he's. Um, we meet Joe. He, he's a movie star. He lives in LA. He's probably incredibly successful. He's got a ton of money in the bank, lives in a big house, and uh, is exceptionally lonely and sad, and is really kind of not dealing with his life. And um, the beginning of the movie, he gets a piece of uh, really bad news, which drags him back um, into his childhood to an event that happened sort of one one summer, that uh, the summer that he left home, and it's about sort of taking care of business. The scene is is mm. it's quite raunchy and very different from the rest of the movie. Mm. Um, what do you think your fans are gonna make of it? Uh, hopefully, hopefully they'll like it. <laughs> I think they will. <laughs> <laughs> And also, you don't executive producer. On yeah. this. I mean, is this a force for you? Would you, would you like to do more? I would. Yes. Thing? No. Definitely. I mean, uh, this has been. I mean, obviously, because Bailey Walsh is a friend of mine, mm -hmm. and that part, partly that's. I mean, that's the main reason I'm involved with this. But it seemed right to get involved as an executive producer. I mean, uh, just because to sort of push it along, and thankfully because of Bond and because of other things, things came together and we got got the movie made. So uh, yeah, definitely, I'd like to do that. And uh, working with Bailey, I mean, uh, working uh, with close friends. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it it, 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 can, it can test things out, but in a good way, it, it worked. I mean, I, I think if our, if our friendship hadn't have been as strong, it could have really tested it, but it's um, it's it's actually really, re you know, rewarding in the end. Any plans to work with, with him again? Not immediately, yes. No? <laughs> no, no, definitely, we will, we will, we've got ideas. No, you've done a, you've done a lot of theatre uh, in mm. the past, well, mm. your fair, fair share of it. Mm. Which do you think is harder? Film or theatre? I, I, I've never been able to sort of put a, uh, um, you know, a line between them. I, I, they're both very different. I mean, you get the days off in the theatre, which I quite like. So um, one day, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes you well, have no, but during the day week. you can kind of get you get your own time. But I, I, it, they're very different disciplines, and I just, I, I, you know, I love I love doing both of them, and I haven't done theatre for a while now, but I'd love to go and go. Well, it's six, it's and six months you're doing it every day, you can, yeah. can get, and you've only got it's like one take each night, isn't mm. it? Yeah, it's, it's really tricky. tricky, but I mean, it kind of if, if you you know if you get the right piece, then it's. Um, it's just, I like the shorter runs, three months. Three months is nice. Yeah, yeah. Now, how, how do you prepare for the roles? Like, are you, mm. are you kind of one of these people that would lock themselves in the room for two weeks? Or? No, but not if I can help it, no. <laughs> I, I very much, I rely on the script. I mean, if you, I, and that's one of the main reasons I take a job, is that if the script's good enough, then it's usually on the page. Um, and then beyond that research, I mean, for this one, it wasn't, a, uh, you know, it wasn't such a uh, such a deal because obviously I've been c connected with it for sort of like five or six years. I know what it's about. As a character, Joe, in a movie, mm. do you think that it, as an actor gets older, it's mm. harder to stay in the game? Of course it is. Yeah, I mean, you've, you've got, got the likes of Robert De Niro and all. Yeah, all. I mean, you've just got to keep working hard. I think, and if you can keep doing the right job, I mean, it's a fickle business, you know. I mean, it's like that's the, that's kind of what it is. But it's but if you keep at it and you keep kind of, you know. Working out what you love and what you do, what 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 you like doing, then you at least will be kind of doing the right thing. So what's next? Uh, just Bond. I'm filming Bond. Bond. Two weeks in now. Two weeks into filming, and that's this year taken care of.
Well, I just want to congratulate you on your performance. I thought it was well, incredible in flashbacks of the film. Thank you. Love the movie. Uh, one of the best films I've seen all year, so congratulations. Nice. Very nice. Cheers, Daniel. Thanks a lot. Take care.